Hi Libras, welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Moon Diva, if you all are new. For those of you that are returning, thank you all so much for coming back. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can find all that information down below in the description box. And uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and get into this reading. So I'm going to start off uh, with your fortune and let's see what is coming towards you. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come through for the sign of Libra, please? What needs to come through? Hmm, got the health card coming out. All right, you also have the karma card. And you have love. So with this karma card, uh, the first thing that came to mind when it comes to the karma card, it is all about releasing superficial relationships, okay? This is all about finding your life purpose, all right? Learning skills, deepening your religion, um, deepening your spiritual values, and changing careers, all right? And then you also have the health card here. And what this health card, <clears throat> and you also have the health card here. So I feel like for some of you all, you're focusing more so on your health and maybe getting yourself back on track. But this could also indicate that for some of you all, uh, when it comes to changing careers, some of you all could be headed towards a, a, a career in the health healthcare field. May have been something that you all have been thinking about a lot. And then also you have the love card, okay? So this could signify that somebody is coming in or that there is a relationship that is being strengthened at this time, all right? And it could be also, I'm getting a strong feeling that uh, for some of you all, you are, if you haven't already released superficial relationships, I feel like because of the work that you've done, all this good karma, where you've been working on things in regards to religion, in regards to changing a career, in regards to finding what your life purpose is, I feel like now the one of the things that you may have desired the most, which is love, I feel like now because of this good karma, you are going to be rewarded with love, okay? I just get this really strong feeling that this is going to be a very beautiful, a very um, powerful reading. So we're going to go ahead and get into the Lover's Oracle. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come through for the sign of Libra? Did I say Libra or Aquarius? I'm thinking of both signs at the same time. It could be an Aquarius that is coming towards you, uh, you Libras at this time. I'm going to go back and check and see in the beginning. Did I say Aquarius instead of Libra? If I did, I apologize. But for some reason... Aquarius is on my mind. Some of you all could have that very prominent in your chart. Could be an Aquarius rising. Uh, could be Moon, Venus. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. Oh, yeah, there's definitely, for some of you all, you're going to be, um, there's some type of financial and career issues that are causing a factor in your love life, okay? Maybe you all are feeling like you're not fulfilled at this time. I definitely feel like that's what it is. I feel like you all are maybe releasing something, maybe walking away from a job that uh, doesn't bring you happiness, okay? And then you also have the you deserve love card. You are lovable. And I feel like this is something that's very heavy on you all's mind, all right? Maybe you've had uh, not the best of luck when it comes to relationships, and you all may have started to question at some point whether or not you felt like you deserve it, but you do. You clearly deserve love. And I do believe that when you all do, you have the honeymoon stage. I feel like this could also indicate that you all could be taking a trip or someone maybe wants to take a trip with you. All right. With this honeymoon card where it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the lover's oracle. <laughs> Okay, I am missing the lover's oracle. I have three. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Where is the love? Okay, so yeah, let's see. What are the most detailed and accurate messages? What needs to come through? All right, at this time. I was like, wait a minute. Where is the love? <laughs> Where is the love? Oh, I keep getting that song in my head. Where is the love? Where is the love? I feel like that's what you all are asking yourselves a lot. Where is it? I don't know who sings that song, but it's playing over and over again in my head like crazy. All right. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. 
Told ya. It says, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yes, this is definitely on you all's mind a lot. All right. So it's definitely going to be coming towards you. And it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new possibilities and possibilities for your life. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a shift. I feel like from whatever you all walk away from, whatever you all walk away from that wasn't real. Okay, it wasn't fake or um, some type of mindset. I feel like a lot of you are going towards some type of spiritual. Uh, you all are getting some type of spiritual guidance. You're, you're, there's something that you valued in the past you no longer value. You're going towards something now that is going to provide you stability. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Yeah, you're going to learn the equal give and take when it comes to relationships. I feel like in the past for you guys, you may have often found yourself with people where you were always the one giving more than the other person was giving. It feels like something was uneven. Something in life was uneven. Let me take a, a closer look at that, okay? These, um, these cards here, these articles for Island Time Wellness tend to pull out you know, things that we may have dealt with or things subconsciously we may not be aware of that we've, you know, dealt with in relationships. So I'm going to pull some out and see if they can uncover that. Okay, can I get one more card, please? Let's see. All right, let's see what kind of issues. Yes, yes. I feel like in the past you all uh, may have had an issue with uh, creating boundaries, okay? Maybe even with the type of people that were very self-serving. I keep getting self-serving, okay? The type of people that would constantly take, all right? Running into some very bad apples, okay? You got the girl and the snake card here. You also have the sword and the rose. This is all about uh, protection and power. I believe that. I believe spiritually you all are being protected at this time from any people or anybody, any type of forces around you that are not helping you, that are not serving you. Um, I'm not sure why, but I keep getting Aquarius keeps being mentioned in my head. So I don't know. I feel like either if you have a heavy earth, I mean, I'm sorry, heavy Aquarius in your chart that definitely um, this is really going to resonate with you all, okay? I feel like at this time, some of you all are very heartbroken, okay? You all are feeling like you're lost. Some of you feel like you're lost in life. Um, some some of you are grieving very hard, okay? You could be grieving the loss of a loved one or grieving the loss of a relationship, loss of employment. There's something that is really heavy. And the interesting thing about this is, for some reason, I couldn't understand why before I started doing the reading, I just felt really down. And it's like once I turned the camera on and I started recording, I started feeling better. But initially, I was like, why am I so down? Why am I so freaking tired? And I feel like all oh, there's a lot of sadness here. There's a lot of sadness. And some of you all, it could be sadness concerning a breakup. All right. There was someone that you're in separation from. Yeah. See, there's somebody you're in separation from. Somebody definitely misses you. Um and I also feel like for some of you, this is something where you're unsure of the future. Like you're wondering what the future holds. It's like you're waiting for, wow, I'm getting this coming out. It's, you're waiting for someone to put you together. You're waiting for someone to push you away. There's always another wound to discover. There's always something more you wish he'd say. Okay, that comes from Vertical Horizon. Vertical Horizon has the song, Everything You Want. Whereas, see, I feel like for some of you all, this song actually came through um, in another reading for another sign. I wish I could remember it, but uh, another sign had this. I think it was Aries. Some of you all could be dealing with an Aries. And in that song, the person is basically saying, I don't get it. How is it that I have all of these qualities that you claim that you want in somebody? Um, and, and I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm right in your face, but yet you don't see me. You don't want to be with me. And I feel like that's that hurt. Some of you all may have been told, the person may have told you they don't love you anymore. Or the person may have told you they don't feel the way that you feel about them or that this relationship is not what they want. I feel like somebody is feeling unwanted. Yeah. And I feel like somebody in this situation is yearning, yearning for the other. It could be your person is yearning for you or you're yearning for your person. And 
Again, that comes with that separation card. Somebody's, somebody's yearning for someone and they're looking at photos. They're being nostalgic. They're in that six of cups energy. This person is missing you a lot and they want to make new memories with you or you want to make new memories with this person. That paradise. Yes. Yes. That parrot. I'm sorry. See, I'm thinking paradise. That's what it is. Some of you all are searching for the ultimate happiness in your life. Something that you're missing. Oh, it is heavy. Very heavy right now. Crap. I'm trying not to cry, but I just, I feel really sad. My goodness. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull... I'm going to pull some angel numbers. I feel like some of you all need this at this time. Some of you all that are going, um, that are questioning, maybe questioning your, your spirituality. You're questioning something. Yeah, you're questioning where the happiness lies in your life. Okay. And I feel like for some of you all, you may have been seeing angel numbers. So I'm going to pull some cards. If you haven't seen them before, you'll may, you're going to start to see these numbers. You're going to start to pay attention and realize, wow, I'm seeing these numbers a lot more. But let's see what the angels have to say. Is there any more messages that need to come through? For some of you all, the number 27, uh, I am expressive, is going to come through. The number 27 card says, your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, your country, or the world at large. Yeah, this goes back to that health card. I feel like some of you all, you want to work in the healthcare field or some type of field in which you will be able to take care of others. You have this strong need to take care of people. You have the number nine card. It says, I am compassionate. It says your compassion, it is your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. Once again, someone in this energy, I'm telling you, someone in this reading definitely needs to hear this message. It's going to resonate uh, for some of you that you really need to, I feel like you've been choosing, should I go towards healthcare? Should I go towards something where I'm helping people? Could be, could be therapy, could be something in a way of therapy, could be a spiritual healer. Okay. Could be a reader. All right. I feel like some of you all have been seeing this number a hell of a lot. Okay. Seven, seven, seven. I sure have been seeing it too. <laughs> seven, seven, seven is I am in the flow. Okay. It says your purpose flows from within and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. Yes. I feel like you all with that karma card, with releasing things that don't serve you, you're starting to find your life purpose. You're starting to discover what it is that is meant for you. You're just starting to discover that your gift is to help others. I feel like maybe through your pain for some of you, through the pain, some pain, maybe teaching people from what you've learned, maybe being some type of a speaker, speaking about what you've been through. I feel like for some of you all, I'm getting this right here, okay? Some of you all that may have been victims of some type of abuse, um, maybe in sexual manner or something, I'm getting that. I feel like you're wanting to speak up for other people or you're wanting to speak up so that other people will be able to share their stories. Um, yeah, I feel like that's what's going on with... Um, yeah, that's what somebody is really sad about that. Somebody was harmed in some way. And this person wants to spread this story to others. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And if you have been hurt, you know, speak up and, you know, let somebody know what you're going through. You know, but I do believe that that's what people are doing. I feel like they're releasing hurt. I feel like they're releasing a, their hurt and going towards um, a higher power to seek answers. Oh, my goodness. Man. Yeah, there's somebody that's really sad. They are really searching for happiness. 
I'm going to pause the video for a second. I really truly hope that the, the person or the people that are um, dealing with something very heavy like that, I really hope that you guys, um, you know, reach out to somebody, um, you know, open up to somebody about what you're going through because my goodness, I feel a, a heavy load. Okay. I'm going to see if I can um, get through the rest of the reading. I'm going to pull from um, these love oracle cards here. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come through for the sign of Libra, please? What needs to come through for the sign of Libra? The most important things you need to know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. Whew. Okay. The most important things you all need to know at this time is I love you. All right. It says these are powerful words. I feel like there's somebody out there. Okay. Um, that needs to let you know this. Need to remind you of this. I feel like this is also yourself. I think you need to know this yourself that you are loved. Okay. And that you need to work on loving yourself. Or um, I feel like this is not just in a relationship. I feel like there are some family members or something that some of you have been wanting to hear this from. I feel like maybe they, they don't necessarily say it. They show it, but you need to hear it. Somebody shows you love, but you need to hear it. Wow. So I feel that you're like, you, you say you love me, but where is the action behind it? Because you have actions speak louder, express your love through actions. My goodness. Yeah. Somebody is, you, you're tired of that. You're tired of people saying, I love you, but where's the action? Where's the action? Actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Some of you all are definitely going to have a new love coming in. All right, you got the new love card. You're going to have someone that's going to come in that's going to love you, that is going to have the actions that speak as well. This is somebody, it says new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work aspects or for spiritual growth. I told you guys. Yeah, you're going to start doing what it is that you love. Not only is there going to be someone that's going to come in, I feel like you're going to start doing what you love because you love yourself. And then not only do you, because of this, your actions are going to speak loudly. You'll be able to express love through your actions, through work. Because those of you that have been going through some, you've gone through some very, very traumatic experiences. Yeah, it's, it's still very heavy. Um, you're going through some very traumatic experiences in your life. But because of the fact that you are starting to embrace even the bad in your life, you're embracing it. You're understanding that what it is, and it's going to help you. It's going to catapult you. Basically, God is putting you in a position in life to teach others. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. Whew. So that's, that's the amazing thing about doing tarot readings. Um, you know, of course, I am specifically, like, I, I really enjoy being a um, love and relationship tarot reader. But sometimes other things come through. You know, there's people that need to hear about things that happened in their life. You know, whether they were young, whether they were, you know, some type of experiences, they, they come through. So you can't always necessarily think that it's just about somebody being in a relationship. Sometimes it's about learning how to be in a relationship with yourself. Mm. man let's go ahead and take a look at these intuitive cards and then we'll get into tarot please give me the most detailed and accurate messages what needs to come through at this time for the sign of libra please what needs to come through at this time for the sign of libra
Yeah, there's definitely somebody that feels like they have a missed opportunity with you. Yeah, somebody from your past. Somebody that you may have blocked or somebody that you chose to emotionally block them. Okay? Missed opportunities and blocked. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody, this is one of those people that had that superficial uh, relationship. You know, it, I feel like this time in your life was very difficult with this person that you were dealing with. All right, this is someone could possibly be a Leo. Okay, could possibly be a Virgo that you were dealing with. But it's also could be an indication that the month of August, you're going to start seeing some changes in your life. Or maybe this person is going to uh, try and reach out or come back to you. Okay, because you do have make the move here. I feel like this person is going to make a move towards you. All right, you also have a year from now. I definitely believe that a year from now, things are going to look completely different than what they look like now, because I feel like that happiness that you all are searching for, I feel like it's already coming towards some of you all, or it's about to come towards you. All right. And this person, let me tell you something. This person from the past, they definitely realize they messed up. This is somebody, they miss the sex. Okay. Make your body weak. I don't want to do this person, Mr. Sex. They can't stop dreaming about you. This person dreams about you a lot. This person says you're the only one for me. And I think that this person knows that you were tired of the games. Don't give up on me. Yeah, they didn't. Let, I, I feel like they did not expect you to walk away. May have been something where it was a long term relationship, you know, a long term thing where you were constantly dealing with somebody whose actions were not adding up to the words that they were saying. You can say, I love you all day to somebody. Okay. But it's the actions behind it that speak louder. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to close it off with some messages. All right, we got the spirit animal guide. Oh, wow, I just realized I completely skipped over tarot. <laughs> wow, these, these oracle cards were so freaking deep, I completely forgot. I don't know, this may end up being an entirely oracle reading, guys. It might be an entire oracle reading. I, I truly believe that. Wow, we'll see in a minute. goodness if you all are enjoying this video i really appreciate it if you all will give me a thumbs up okay subscribe to the channel if you haven't of course uh if you guys are interested in the personal uh just be reminded that this is a general reading okay this is for the general collective all right male female everybody all right so let's see with the spirit animal guys okay when i tell you the cards came out ready okay guns blazing all right the first one is the gorilla it says take time to listen compassionately to those you love especially your family members yes your family is going to be your biggest support system during this time okay this is a time in which i feel like for some of you all, I feel like you're going to be releasing something to your family. You're going to be telling them something. I feel like you're going to be opening up. I feel like some of you all are going to close some wounds that have been open, okay, for a very long time. And this is going to heal your family. This is going to not only heal them, but it's going to give you closure. All right, you have the octopus card here. It says, practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Once again, that health card came up here, okay? I do believe that you all are taking charge of your health. I feel like you all are going to start to gain this confidence, this happiness. And I feel like this is going to be uh, something that is also going to help the outside, okay? I feel like some of you all, you may have been so used to doing for others that you kind of forgot yourself. So now you want to start taking care of yourself more, you know, wanting to look nice and, you know, uh, there's definitely nothing wrong with working on the outer while working on the inner. So you have the seagull card. It says, now it's time for deep emotional healing. Exactly. Okay. Because when I tell you there was a lot of heaviness in this read. All right. And I feel like there are some people out there that truly need to release. They need to have a good cry. They need to let something out. Okay. Because just know that the road ahead is going to be a lot smoother, a lot clearer for you guys. You have the panda card here. It says, create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. Exactly. 
Now, some of you all are like, well, what, what do you mean like create a safe space? What is something good? Okay, this is mine right here. This is my safe space. This is where I go and I feel good and I feel happy. You know, so um, I would suggest maybe getting some crystals, you know, maybe getting an hourglass. I feel like I get a lot more things done when I do an hourglass, you know, when I have my hourglass here. Also, I have a salt lamp. You know, it just depends. What makes you happy? You know, unicorns. <laughs> I say this all the time, but look, unicorns make me happy. I love it. Yeah, so just find something in, a, in an area that just makes you feel good, you know, and that'll definitely help to lift your mood. Now, you have the, the raindrops card here, right? And it says, take a chance on them. Okay, like I said, there was new love that is coming in. And also, there was somebody from you all's past that is really thinking about you all a lot. I do believe that in the past, this person may have had a superficial type of... I feel like this person was not being them true selves. I feel like through you, they started to work on them. Sometimes what people don't realize is that a person can transform through the people that they meet, through the company that they keep. And I feel like it was something about you, this person saw, and it made them latch on and realize that, you know what? This person is transforming. I need to transform as well. So if you got someone that's coming back and you can genuinely feel that they've changed, then yes, that is the person that I feel that some of you all will go on a honeymoon together. I feel like your finances and your career, your career are going to pick up. And I feel like just like you, this person is learning that they, they deserve love. Some of you all could have a Pisces coming towards you or you or your person could have a moon in Pisces. It says balance, spirituality, and practicality. Once again, speaking to spirituality, I definitely feel like some of you all are transforming, okay? You're rising from the ashes. Things are definitely going to be on the up and up for you guys, and I really, truly wish you all the best. So if you all enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm a Sag Moon Diva. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, Libras!